Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try one of these Hunger Man handfuls, the uh, sandwiches. This is the Philly, uh, Philly, Philly cheese steak. It's sliced beef peppers, onions, and American cheese wrapped in a savory crust. Two times the size, that probably means two times the calories, but what the heck, right? These are fairly new, they're not brand new, but they are fairly new. Uh, we got these at Walmart for $2.83, which isn't bad for a meal. $2.83 for one meal is not bad at all. Um, nothing else on there. So, how many calories? 610. 610 calories if you eat the entire thing. There's your other information for you. So, how do we make this? They also got other flavors, which I think I have all of those. So, we'll be trying those in the future. Um, you can do it in the oven. It's probably, honestly, it's probably better in the oven. But we don't do ovens on here. We do microwaves. So, we're going to follow the directions and make sure it's uh, blah, blah, blah. Remove it from the plastic wrap. Place on a microwave safe place. Plate cover loosely with a paper towel. What I will probably do is I'll have paper plates. Um, I will put a piece of, piece of like parchment paper on the bottom so it won't stick. And then I'll just lay a paper towel on top. That's, that's how I'm going to do it. So microwave for 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Well, that's very specific. And then let it sit for 2 minutes. So let's see what this thing looks like. It has a pull tab, which is nice. It means I can open it with one hand. That's why they did it, just for me. So I can open stuff with one hand. That... It's a big sandwich. All right, there's my hand. It's pretty good size. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put this on a piece of parchment paper, um, on a paper plate, and then cut, just lay a paper towel over top of it to get the microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. I did cut it into three pieces just to let it cool off a little faster, but it hasn't set for the two minutes it's supposed to. Um, it did run over just a little bit, a little bit of a square out. That was it though, just that little bit. So that wasn't bad. Um, it made the microwave very steamy. So if you, um, you may have to leave your microwave door open to just let it dry out. Um, and this is a little wet for right now, but I'm, I'm hoping in the two minutes it'll thicken up. But um, let me see if I can pick it up a little bit. So there's the inside. I'll, I think that was the filling that was right there. <laughs> let me see if I can pick the other side up. Yeah. That looks better. So I'm gonna let this cool off and I'll let it sit for the two minutes and I'll be back. All right, it's had some time to heat to, to heat up, to cool off. Um, so I'm just gonna take a, pick it up and eat it. Uh, the only reason I cut them is to let them cool off. If I, if I were to eat these normally, I would just grab them and eat them. Although they're still really hot. So I at least cut them in half and let some of the steam escape. So anyway, the pastry looks pretty good. It feels very flaky. Um, it's a little, um, softer on the bottom than it is on the top, but it's not wet. It's not, it's not wet at all. Let me see. Let me turn around. See, it's not wet. It's still dry. It's just softer. Um, more like, not like a pop tart. Pop tarts are kind of hard. This is flaky. Um, more like a pie crust that's not quite cooked. If you look on the, you look on the top edge right there, that dough right there is probably um, not quite. If you were to make a pie and it had that, you would say it wasn't quite done. So anyway. Pretty decent flavors. The um, I didn't get any uh, peppers in that flavor. I mean the, that bite, but the uh, the flavors of the meat and the cheese is really good. Let me get one out of the middle. Yeah, it's a really good flavor. Um, don't have any problems with that at all. The pastry, like I said, if you did it in the oven. You know it's going to be better. It's going to be um, a crispier, flakier crust. Uh, if you can do these in the oven, do them in the oven. Um, in this channel, everything's microwaved just like you would do it at work. So in the microwave, the crust is not quite as flaky and, and crisp as you would hope. The, um, the, the outside part where they sealed it is really is good and crunchy and crispy. But the, the top and bottom aren't quite as crispy as, as you would do them in the oven. They're still good. Um, is it a good microwave option? I think so. I think it's it's um, it's got a good flavor, good texture. Um, still, not, there's not a lot of peppers in here. I'm amazed they didn't put more peppers. I haven't ran into a pepper yet. I know there was one in that bite that I opened up, but I haven't seen any on this side. So. The meat's good and tender too, which I like. Um, it's not a really tough um, cuts of meat. So overall, this is pretty good. Of course, the calories are really high, um, but it is 
twice as big as a normal like a pot pie I mean a, a lean lean pocket or a hot pocket or anything like that they're bigger um, really good quality ingredients definitely worth trying out the Philly cheesesteak if you like Philly cheesesteaks I wish it had a little bit more peppers and onions in there but that's my really my only complaint so I'm gonna give it um, it's just meat and cheese and bread. So and if you did in the oven, it would be a five. I think it would be a five. It'd be really good flavors. Um, microwave it. It's probably dropping it down to like a four and a half. Um, like I said, my two complaints are microwave wise, it's not quite as crispy enough. And ingredient wise, it needs some more peppers and onions in there, which are pretty cheap. I'm amazed they didn't put them more in there. So anyway, uh, four and a half for me, but definitely worth trying out if you, if you don't mind the calories or if you cut it in half and share it, that'd be fine too. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.